God. The Bible says man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks upon the heart. And in the scriptures, the heart is considered the symbol of the entire person. You see, the heart has come to stand for the center of the moral, spiritual, and intellectual life of a person. It's the seat of a person's conscience and life. The Bible teaches that our hearts are sinful. They're sinful. The Bible teaches that the Bible says, first of all, that our hearts are full of evil imaginations. Proverbs 6, 18, a heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. And then secondly, the Bible says, the heart is desperately wicked and deceitful. Jeremiah 17, 9, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know? That's your heart. That's what the Bible thinks of your heart. That's what God thinks about your heart and my heart. Scripture News Channel, that you may know the truth. May the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Imagine a garden full of lush and vibrant fruits, each one appearing to promise joy and fulfillment. But hidden among the beauty are thorns and poisonous plants, deceiving the eye. Could this be a reflection of our hearts? Today, we explore the truth about the human heart its hidden deceptions, and how God's Word can reveal the way forward. Introduction The heart, often described as the source of our deepest emotions and desires, can lead us to both joy and sorrow. But how reliable is it? Jeremiah 17, 9-10 warns us of the deceitfulness lurking within. As we examine this passage, let us ask ourselves, can we trust our hearts? Let us listen to the Word of God. Bible reading. I am reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verses 9 to 10. The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward each person according to their conduct, according to what their deeds deserve. This is the Word of God. The Challenge. The heart often leads us astray, like a traveler lured by the sweetness of a forbidden fruit. We are enticed by worldly desires, only to find bitterness in their pursuit. In today's world, where messages of follow your heart and do what feels right abound, the Bible reminds us of a harsh truth. Our hearts are not to be fully trusted. Instead of leading us to joy, our hearts can guide us toward paths that lead to destruction, selfishness, and sin. How often have we followed the pull of our hearts, only to later regret the decisions we've made? This is the deceit that Jeremiah speaks of, the very nature of the human heart, wicked and beyond cure. But there is hope. Reflection. The prophet Jeremiah gives us a somber warning the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. These words challenge the common belief that we should trust our hearts and follow their desires. But why would the Bible, the Word of God, take such a strong stance against something we hold dear? To understand this, let us look back to Genesis, where we see the first instance of deception. Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden were presented with a choice, follow God's command or trust their own desires. The serpent's cunning words, you will not surely die, you will be like God, seduced their hearts, leading them to believe a lie. Their hearts, deceived, led them away from God's will and into sin. Fast forward to today, and we still face the same battle. Our hearts, clouded by pride, lust, greed, and fear, easily fall prey to temptation. In my own life, there have been times when I followed what seemed to be the right path, only to discover that it was based on selfish ambition or fleeting pleasure. I've wrestled with moments of guilt, trying to justify my choices, even when the conviction of the Holy Spirit was strong. Maybe you've experienced something similar a moment when you followed your desires, only to later feel the sting of regret. This brings us to the crux of Jeremiah's message. 
God alone can search the heart and reveal its true nature. He does this, not to condemn, but to cleanse and guide. Hebrews 4.12 tells us that the Word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword, able to judge the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. It cuts through the deception, exposing what is hidden beneath. Let me share the testimony of a man who battled addiction for years. His heart told him that he could stop anytime, that he was in control. But as he continued to indulge, his life grew into chaos. It wasn't until he surrendered to Christ, allowing God to search his heart and bring healing, that he found freedom. His life is now a testament to the transforming power of God's truth. The good news is that God doesn't leave us in our deceit. He offers us a new heart, a heart after his own. As seen in Ezekiel 36, 26, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. By accepting this transformation, we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us into truth and away from the snares of our sinful desires. Application. How does this passage apply to us today? It's a reminder that we must guard our hearts and not be led solely by our emotions or desires. We must align our hearts with God's will, seeking His truth through prayer, reflection, and the Word. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 encourages us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In times of decision, are you seeking God's wisdom or following the voice of your heart? Have you allowed the Holy Spirit to reveal any deceit within you? Today, let us ask for God's grace to overcome the struggles of our hearts and live in obedience to Him. Key moment of the passage. There is nothing more freeing than surrendering your heart to God. He alone can take what is deceitful and make it pure. As we turn to God, we experience the peace and fulfillment our hearts desperately seek. In moments of temptation, let us remember that only God's truth can lead us to true joy. Conclusion In summary, the heart may deceive, but God is our faithful guide. Trust in Him to search your heart and lead you in the way everlasting. Prayer Points Lord, search my heart and reveal any deceit within me. Father, give me the strength to follow your will above my desires. Holy Spirit, transform my heart and lead me in righteousness. Closing Prayer Heavenly Father, we come before you with open hearts. We ask that you search our hearts and reveal any deceit or wickedness within us. Help us to resist the temptations of this world and to walk in your truth. We pray for the strength to submit to your will and for your spirit to guide us in all things. May we live lives that reflect your righteousness and may your peace guard our hearts always. Amen. As you go forth, remember to seek God's wisdom above all. Take time this week to reflect on His Word and ask the Holy Spirit to guide your heart in every decision. Share this message with someone in need of God's truth today. Let us share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore. Amen.